Hello, my name is Sukari Prabo. I will be looking at physics. And on physics today, we are looking at speed and velocity. We will be looking at the concept of speed, the concept of velocity. We will be looking at distance time graph and how to deduce speed from a distance time graph. We will also be looking at displacement time graph and how to deduce velocity from a displacement time graph. And then finally, we will distinguish between speed and velocity. So, let's look at the concept of speed. Speed is distance traveled in unit time. Mathematically, speed is distance, distance traveled all over time taken to make the journey. The unit of speed include meters per second, kilometer per hour, centimeter per second, as the case may be. But importantly, the SI unit for speed is meters per second. Speed is a scalar quantity and defined only by its magnitude. Uniform speed is also known as constant speed. And this is defined by an object traveling equal distances in equal time interval, however small the time interval may be. When an object is in uniform speed, it travels equal distances in equal time intervals, no matter how small the time interval may be. Let's look at a simple example. A body travels a distance of 10 meters in 5 seconds. What will be the speed? The speed is given by distance all over time, and we have looked at the distance as 10 meters and the time as 5 seconds. So the speed of the body will be 2 meters per second. Let's now look at the concept of velocity. What is velocity? Velocity is the rate of change of displacement with time. When displacement is measured against time, the rate of change between them gives us velocity. So velocity is actually speed, but in a particular direction. Simply put, speed and velocity have the same magnitude or size, but velocity, in addition to the magnitude, is defined by the direction of the motion. The unit of velocity is meters per second. Kilometer per hour, it can be centimeters per second as well, as the case may be. The SI unit is meters per second. Mathematically, velocity is displacement all over the time taken to arrive or to cover a given displacement. Uniform velocity is also known as constant velocity. It is a type of velocity and during uniform velocity, equal distances are covered in equal time intervals no matter how small the time interval may be. So velocity is a vector quantity and it is defined by both its magnitude and its direction. So the magnitude and direction of velocity defines it as a vector quantity. So let's look at a simple example that involves velocity. A car covered a distance of 50 meters in 10 seconds, traveling from Portacot to Aba. What will be its velocity? Mathematically, we have said velocity is the distance all over the time. So the velocity is 50 meters all over 10 meters, and the velocity will give us 5 meters per second in the direction of Aba because it, it's moving from Portacot to Aba. Let's now look at a distance time graph. What is a distance time graph? A distance time graph is a graphical representation of the relationship between distance traveled and the time taken for an object to travel that distance. So the distance traveled is plotted on the y-axis while the time taken is plotted on the x-axis. 
and the speed can be obtained from the distance time graph. How? By looking for the gradient of the distance time graph. So on a plot of distance against time, if we find the gradient or the slope, we will be able to get the speed of the object. This is an example of a plot of distance against time. We have distance here with the symbol of S and time with the symbol of T. The body moves from point 1 to point 2 in a time T. So the speed is given by the gradient of the object as it moves from 1 to 2. The speed will be the gradient BC divided by AC. How can we plot a distance time graph? So a distance time graph can be, a plot of it can be made by marking out the distance on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. We choose appropriate scale on both axes and then we mark the point of intersection of corresponding values of distance and time and then we link the mark with the line of best fit going through the points and eventually we will now evaluate the gradient to be able to determine the speed. So let's look at this simple example. A train covered a given distance in corresponding time interval and the relationship over a long distance is as shown below. At a distance of 2 meters, the time taken to cover 2 meters is 4 seconds. Time taken to cover 4 meters is 8 seconds. 6 meters is 12 seconds. And 8 meters is 16 seconds. We are to plot the distance time graph and determine the speed of the train. So this is a plot of the distance and time graph. On the vertical axis, we have distance. On the horizontal axis, we have time. The vertical axis is the y-axis and the horizontal is the x-axis. We take a scale of 1 cm to represent 2 units on the y-axis. And that is why we have 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. And then we take 2 cm to represent 2 units on the x-axis. That's why we have 4, 8, 12, and 16. So, we will have a plot when it's 2 when the distance covered is 2 meters, we have a time of 4 seconds. When the distance covered is 4 meters, we have 8 seconds. And when the distance covered is 6 meters, we have 12 seconds. And it takes 16 seconds to cover a distance of 8 meters. And we will have a plot of this. And from that plot, we can be able to get the gradient which will give us the speed. And so the speed is going to be BC divided by AC. So looking at the graph we have, we have 8 minus 2 divided by 16 minus 4. And when we do that math, we will have the speed as 0 0.5 meters per second. Let's now look at the displacement time graph. What is it and what we can deduce from it. The displacement time graph is a graphical representation of the relationship between displacement and time. Displacement is plotted on the y-axis while time is plotted on the x-axis. The gradient that will be obtained from a displacement time graph will be the velocity. This is a graphical example of a velocity time graph. The body has a displacement as it moves from F to G in unit time. The velocity is the gradient of the line F to G. Looking at it, velocity is JK divided by HK. Let's now look at how we can plot a displacement time graph. We mark out the displacement on the y-axis and the time on the x-axis. We choose appropriate scale on both axes. We mark at the point of intersection of corresponding displacement and time. And then we link the marks by the line of best fit. 
and finally we evaluate the gradient to determine the velocity. Let's look at this simple example to be able to plot a displacement time graph. The displacement and time relationship of a bus traveling from Bielsa to Lagos is as shown in the table below. 2 meters covered in 8 seconds, 4 meters in 12 seconds, 6 meters in 16 seconds, and 8 meters after 20 seconds. We're to plot the displacement time graph and determine the velocity of the train. So this is the plot that we will come up with. 2 seconds, we have 8 seconds to cover 2 meters, and 12 seconds to cover 4, and then 16 seconds to cover 6, and then 20 seconds to cover 8 meters. Of course, displacement on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. So what will the velocity be? The velocity will be the gradient of the displacement time graph. Speed equals jk over hk. So the speed is 8 minus 2 all over 20 minus 8. And when we evaluate that, we'll have the velocity or speed as 0 0.5 meters per second. Velocity and speed, like we mentioned, have the same magnitude, but the direction is what distinguishes them. So now we're going to look at in depth the difference between speed and velocity. So speed is the rate of change of displacement with time. Speed is a scalar quantity and the gradient of the distance time graph is what will give us speed. While velocity is the rate of change of displacement with time, it is a vector quantity and the gradient of the displacement time graph is what will give us the velocity. So what have we been looking at? We have been looking at the fact that speed is the rate of change of distance with time and it is a scalar quantity. Velocity is the rate of change of displacement with time and it is a vector quantity. Speed can be obtained from the gradient of a distance time graph while velocity can be obtained from the gradient of a displacement time graph. Let's now look at this simple example to be able to sketch a distance time graph and calculate the speed of a vehicle. So the question says, a vehicle starts from rest from a station and travels the following distance at each time in travel. From rest, we have zero, zero, and then at a distance of five meters, took him 10 seconds to cover a distance of five meters, took 20 to cover a distance of 10 meters, took 30 seconds to cover a distance of 15 meters, took 40 to cover a distance of 20 meters. We will sketch the distance time graph of this motion and then we will calculate the speed of the vehicle. So let's see. So we're plotting a distance time graph. So we have distance here in meters. We have time in seconds. So we we'll take our scale, but it's a sketch. So normally we we'll take a scale for the distance axis and for the time axis. This is the origin and it's began from rest. So we have for time, we have 10. We have 20, we have 30, and we have 40. For distance, we have 5, we have 10, we have 15, and we have 20. So it took 10 seconds to cover a distance of 5 meters, it took 20 seconds to cover a distance to cover a distance of 10 meters, it took 30 seconds to cover a distance of 15 meters, and it took 40 seconds to cover a distance of 20 meters. So if we draw the line of best fit, we'll have a straight line that cuts across these points. 
This is a sketch of the distance time graph. You can also find the gradient. To be able to find the gradient, you can take two points, these two points, to be able to find the, the gradient. So the gradient is going to be on the distance side, we have the gradient is 15 for the distance minus 5 and for the time is 30 minus 10. So 15 minus 5 is 10 and 30 minus 10 is 20. And when we do this, the gradient is 0 0.5 meters per second, which is going to be the speed of the graph. With that, we have come to the end of speed and velocity. The foundational knowledge that is needed to be able to understand the difference between both of them and to be able to plot them on the distance time graph or on the displacement time graph for velocity. Thank you.